Sam, I'm tell me. What were your thoughts on the performance? Really happy, really pleased uh, the way we started the game. Um, I was already really happy with the way they reacted after Thursday. And we took any question mark away from it, uh, show a lot of determination, a lot of purpose in, in our way of playing. And um, I'm really happy to perform the way we did after playing 120 minutes, after losing two big players for us, and, uh, and still compete and, and win the game like we did. Do you think Bakayo might be the best player in the league right now? I think the team did really well, and we have obviously individuals that <laughs> excel to be at the level that that we want. But B was again really, really good today, um, really affecting the the result uh, with his contribution, especially in the opponent's box. So really happy. James, Mikhail, uh, Tommy has just left the Emirates of League with a knee brace and in crutches. As we understand, there may be surgery next week. Is he going to play again this season? We don't know. Um, obviously, the doctor is assessing. We had one assessment. I think they need to have another assessment tomorrow. But um, he's not looking good, that's for sure. And looking at Tommy, um, and he's not someone that um, tries to to exaggerate things. He was really concerned straight away, and uh, and we are concerned. Is there a bit more hope around William Sleeve and? On that subject, how well did you think Rob Holding did coming into We it? hope so, and we hope Willie is going to be better news. But uh, again, we have to wait till tomorrow to, to understand a bit um, a better picture. And um, and they're fantastic. We lost players. You know, we lost Gabi for four months. We lost Thomas for one and a half months. We lost Alex Inchenko for one and a half months. Um, we lost Molneni for six to eight months. Now we lost Eddie, and now we lost Tomeyasu or Saliba. Everybody has to give a little bit more. It's, it's not a secret. If we want to maintain that level, everybody has to step in and, and give more. And, and Rob is a clear example of what we needed today. Okay. Mikhail, um, and another goal conceded by a set piece, and you've spoken before about wanting to change that. It's, it's still happening. Mm -hmm. How do you change that quickly? Well, training more, being more conscious of it, and don't give any hope to the opponent that um, that's a weakness. But. Um, we have tried to train it. Obviously, we didn't have a lot of time with, with the amount of game that we played in the last three or weeks, but it's something that for sure definitely we need to do better. Okay. Martinelli bounced back really well from the penalty miss on Thursday. How have the group rallied around him to get him through quite a difficult time? Ah, they were at him straight away, but he's not someone that is really concerned. This part of football, he takes responsibility chances, and when you see him running around the next day with that energy, honestly, I wasn't very concerned about it. And Granit Xhaka seems to have added the goal-scoring element to his game yet again. Obviously, Palace is, for him, quite a special opponent, given everything that's happened in the past. Um, what's changed with him that he started scoring goals again, getting in the final third, and how important was it for him today to receive standing ovations when he went off injured? Believing, again, getting in the right position, believing that the ball is going to land in the right moment, and then being clinical there. And uh, I had the feeling, I told him today, you're going to score again, because when you have that mindset and you are there, and I see the way he's training, uh, good things are going to happen, and he's been phenomenal all season. David? Okay. With two young players like Sack and Martinelli who are playing the best football, and uh, we're discussing if they are the best of the league or not, you as a manager, as their manager, how can you guide them in this process in being the best version of themselves? Just make sure that every single day they do the right things. They eat the right things, they lead the right way, and everything that they put in this brain is the right information and, and not get confused because it's about tomorrow, it's about the next day, about the next match, and this is what we have to do. They be, to be fair, they have the right environment, the right family, the right agent, and it's not a coincidence that they behave consistently the way they do. That's why they can perform at the level that they do. Okay, last couple. Alex? Hi, Miguel. Hi. Uh, ten, eight points clear with 10 games to go after the international break. What's the message to the players when they come back? That they look really after themselves in, in this period. Uh, we're going to try to look after the players that have to remain with us here and that they come back with the same mindset and, and angry that they were in before to, to go into Leeds, which is the only important game that we have right now, and, uh, and try to win that one. And finally, we'll go to Darren. Um, the last time, obviously, everyone went away to international breaks. Jesus, you lost him. Yeah. Um, do you have any concerns about what happens next, given that when they come back, it's the <laughs> I want to think positively. I touch wood, but I want to think positively. Um, 
they're gonna play games and they have to do it in in the way that they do it uh, or better than, than they do it here, especially because they are representing their country. We are in contact with all of them. They know how to look after them and, and hope that everything is gonna work out. Okay, thanks, Edward. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.